very much. Um, the president of the ECOWAS Commission, Your Excellency Jean-Claude Cassibro, the vice president of the ECOWAS Commission, Mrs. Finda Koroma, Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget, and National Planning, uh, Hajia Zainab Ahmed, the Honorable Minister of Interior, Obwene Raul Farag Rechola, Honorable Minister of Defense, Major General Magashi Retired, Honorable Minister of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Talon, the Honorable Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management and Social Development, Mrs. Sadia Omar Farouk, Honorable Minister of State Foreign Affairs, uh, Ambassador Zubair Rudada, National Security Advisor, Major General Abadana Mongunu, retired, and the Permanent Representative of Nigeria to ECOWAS Ambassador Musa Sami Nu, uh, very honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first, let me congratulate uh, you, uh, President of uh, the ECOWAS Commission, and uh, all uh, of the members of the delegation, as well as all of us today, on what uh, is uh, clearly a uh, an important event in the history of ECOWAS and of course even in our own efforts uh, at maintaining security not only in our nation but in the sub-region uh, and I also want to commend you for your service to uh, ECOWAS and for your leadership uh, which has all brought this about thank you very much I don't think there is it uh, there is a better time for this uh, process where which will lead to the full implementation of the uh, early warning and uh, response system. We are at a time uh, nationally and of course sub-regionally where the security threats that confront us are becoming they are more violent, they are asymmetric, they, are, they spread faster than ever before, and of course they are cross-border in, 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 uh, in, in their nature. So there's no question at all that this is an, a, a moment when we really should be looking at how to collaborate in real time and in very uh, and in increasingly more imaginative ways in sharing information and also uh, in sharing competence uh, in order to confront the security challenges that confront us. And so this, uh, the, uh, this uh, early warning and response system is one that is timely and important for us as a nation and of course uh, sub-regionally. I think uh, that ECOWAS should commend itself and we should uh, commend ourselves because uh, following, uh, the, uh, following the 1999 pro uh, protocols, we have made tremendous progress, especially with respect to you know, uh, peacekeeping, to uh, ensuring that we are in a position to manage uh, security threats and also to provide uh, platforms for conflict resolution and conflict management. And I think that that's something that we really need to commend ourselves about. Uh, and where I think also the, the, the clear expansion of the uh, ECOWAS early warning and response network to include uh, security indicators, particularly terrorism indicators, is a very important thing. And I think that that has helped a great deal in not only focusing on terrorism, which today is possibly the most lethal threat that we face, but also in giving us at least an opportunity uh, as a subdivision to uh, bring the very best possible idea and also to be able to check these threats uh, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. 
So I, I would like to again congratulate you and congratulate ourselves on uh, this uh, important innovation and to assure you of uh, our president, President Muhammad Buhari's commitment to this process and to ensure that uh, this early warning and response system is fully implemented. And we look forward to working with you uh, to ensure its full implementation. I've also noted uh, the specific requests that you have made, and we will we'll definitely ensure that those uh, requests are processed. And um, we, just as you know, we're all very committed to ensuring that um, not only is ECOWAS able to fulfill its objectives, because it's all is in our own interest, as, as it's in our own national interest as well, but also because we believe that the safety and security of the sub region is the safety and security of our own nationals as well. So I'd like to thank you again for uh, all the efforts you've made and uh, to say that we're certainly very happy to continue to work with you to see the full realization of uh, this uh, early, early warning and response network. Thank you very much. Thank you.